A major topic on this year's Regents exam is going to be the human's impact on the ecosystem. A perfect example of this is the gray wolf or the timber wolf. Their population was very prevalent 50 years ago. They could be found in every biome, tundra, taiga, deciduous forest. Now they're considered a threatened species, which means they're near endangerment or close to being endangered. The reason that their population has become as low as it is is because of human hunting. And at first the humans were hunting the wolves for their fur, for their pelts. Now they're being hunted for a different reason. Humans have killed all of their prey, the bison, the deer, leaving them nothing to eat. So they're moving into farmlands and towns and unfortunately they're preying on people's pets and farmers' animals. Since the timber wolf has moved into habitats such as farmlands, farmers are hunting and killing them to save their own livestock. The timber wolf's most immediate ancestor is today's domestic dog. The differences are the timber wolf's paws. They're four to five times bigger than a dog's paws. And the reason for that is the timber wolf is very good in the snow and the tundra, and having a large surface area on their paws keeps them above the snow. Their legs are also significantly longer in proportion to the rest of their body in comparison to the domestic dog. Timberwolf travels in packs. Many biologists believe that they travel in packs to herd their prey. However, it's more likely that the reason they travel in packs is to ensure reproductive success. There's a dominant male in every pack. They call him the alpha male, having many females in a pack for the alpha male to choose from. The alpha male will choose the strongest female of the pack, therefore ensuring that the pups will be stronger puppies.